My name is Daniel Timms. I'm a, a mechanical engineer from Brisbane in Australia and I studied a PhD in biomedical engineering. One of the reasons that I got into um, this field was that my father had heart failure. And I think I was 22 or 23 when I came up with an idea for a mechanical artificial heart. The invention is a complete replacement uh, to the heart. And it does that with a spinning disc that is using magnets to levitate that spinning disc inside the heart. And when that disc spins, it pumps the blood to both the lungs and to the rest of the body. It's doing that without any kind of mechanical wear. So this device will never wear out. It has potential to reduce the reliance on waiting for scarce donor hearts to treat patients with heart failure. That also includes children and uh, extending their life significantly so they can enjoy a you know, longer life with their family. When my father had heart failure, he would go to the Prince Charles Hospital to be treated. And as I was completing my PhD, the Prince Charles Hospital administration there and, and surgeons essentially found me a room, found me a wage uh, to continue developing the idea. And an engineer researching an idea in a hospital is unheard of in any places around the world. Uh, but yet they just made it happen. The experience of being an inventor in Australia is probably unique to any parts of the world. The environment in Australia is very conducive to just having a go at something that might seem crazy and, and has never been done before. And the willingness of government to help support and promote ideas from the beginning and then get them in front of the world stage for a pathway to success is second to none. One thing that really is embodied in Australian spirit is just to make things happen and, and try not to let anything get in the way. Australia is very much open to work with anyone in Australia or anyone around the world, essentially. Credit is usually the last thing on the list for Australians to care about. It's more about achieving the challenge. That is probably the, the major advantage of the Australian environment for research. Really, at the end of the day, the, the only way that I've got to here is through the support of you know everyone else in Australia and, and particularly in government to say, hey, look, keep kicking your idea up, keep kicking it up. Sounds like it might work. Put it in front of people, see what they'll say.